All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this. Let's see if. We can open it this way. There we go. All right, so we got two numbered bags, it looks like. There's our instructions. Nope, three numbered bags. Cool. Wasn't expecting numbered bags for a set this small. All right, let me put these over here. All right, we're actually gonna do this one bag at a time. First off, it wants us to make the stone tripper, of course. Oh, this uh, this stone tripper has some lips. I do like the minifigure helmet. I don't think I have one of these stone tripper helmets. Actually, I don't think I have any stone troopers that have faces. I think all of mine are actually the old school um, blackhead stormtroopers. I mean, that's cool. But that's also because I haven't bought Star Wars sets in a long time. I can't imagine they don't have a... Uh, they don't have this figure in other sets, though. So. Alright. Now we got this. So what do you guys think about the order that you should watch Star Wars? Do you have a specific, you know, even if you like Star Wars, um, some people could be watching this just because they like Lego. But if you like Star Wars, do you have a specific way you would prefer the movies to be watched? So we were talking about this at work. And one thing is, because my favorite series is Six of Crows. Um, the Grisa franchise. And the Six of Crows is technically the fourth book. But it's the first one in its own duology that takes place after the original trilogy. And they said, uh, I said not to, I wouldn't read the trilogy first. Because the trilogy isn't that good. But if you read the Six of Crows first, you want to know what the trilogy says. It's one of those things like, yeah, it's not that good. But you will want to read it if you enjoyed Six of Crows, which is what I did. So it's kind of that thing is like, if I would have started with the Grisa trilogy, I probably would never have gotten to Six of Crows because I wouldn't have been interested. So that's the thing. Like, someone who hates... So if someone hates Phantom Menace... But that was the first thing of Star Wars they ever seen. What reason would they have to watch anything Star Wars after that? Right? So, like, if you think someone's going to hate Phantom Menace, would you recommend them watching Phantom Menace first? But same thing, like, if you don't think they're going to like New Hope, like, if they don't like old movies, why would you have that to go first see what I mean it's uh it's kind of interesting like so what would you say then this is a printed piece by the way 
Now we got bag number two. So honestly, I think it would be really cool probably to watch the Star Wars starting with Phantom Menace because you're not going to know what's going on. Like you're going you're not going to know the outcome. And I've heard from people who did it that way, they it really enjoy the story even more. So it's just kind of interesting like how they would do. But I'm also not going to like bash on what people like, right? So you know, I'm not the biggest fan of like the sequel trilogy, right? But I'm not going to bash on you for not liking the sequels. Or for liking the sequels, I mean. It's just kind of whatever. I mean, you know, I like the prequel trilogy. But I like the prequel trilogy more than I like the actual trilogy. The original trilogy. But I grew up with... Anakin. Yeah, I'm missing a black piece. I grew up with Anakin, so Anakin is the character I liked when I was a kid, growing up. Now, I've seen the uh, original trilogy and all that, which I believe I started with the original trilogy. However, it was just kind of like, oh, this is cool. Star Wars. It's pretty cool. But then once I hit, I saw, like, Phantom Menace, it's like, oh, man, this this kid is like almost as old, is almost the age of me. You know, it's not that different. Man, he could be a Jedi and all that stuff. You know, you you put yourself in the place. You're like, oh well, that'd be so cool. It's like, you know, that's the whole point of why Link is a silent protagonist because you're basically him. Like that's the that's the point. So it works out that way. But, it just kind of depends because, you know, a lot of people don't like it. Now, I wasn't a, Attack of the Clones I still think is the worst Star Wars movie. So that'll be interesting to see what people think of that. So, overall... I think that Revenge of the Sith is the best. Hands down. That's my favorite Star Wars movie. I recommend watching from Phantom Menace first. Now, I do like Solo. I don't care much for a Rogue One. It's okay, I guess. But overall, I would say Phantom Menace, or Revenge of the Sith is the best. What would I put after Revenge of the Sith? Hmm, probably. I'd have to say. What, A New Hope, maybe? Yeah, I think I'd probably say A New Hope. Followed by Phantom Menace. Followed by Return of the Jedi. Then probably followed by Empire Strikes Back. Followed by Attack of the Clones. Followed by Rise of Skywalker. Followed by The Last Jedi. And then last, The Force Awakens. But I would also put Rogue One behind uh, Force Awakens because I think the sequel trilogy is probably better than Rogue One. So we'll see how controversial that is. And then let's see what else. Solo. Where would I put Solo? I really enjoyed the Solo movie. 
think Solo is probably my third favorite. I think I put Solo above Phantom Menace. I think I would do that. Is that all the Star Wars movies? Might have been. And then let's say, let's talk about Disney Plus series. Where would Disney Plus series go? The Mandalorian is probably... To be honest, The Mandalorian is probably above A New Hope. Like, I think as far as Star Wars, I would have to do Revenge of the Sith is the best thing, followed by The Mandalorian. Now, I've only seen episode, or season one of Mandalorian, season two of Mandalorian, and The Book of Boba Fett. I've not watched season three of Mandalorian. But that's because they kind of killed it. And not as in like, you know, it's not, it's bad or anything. I mean, they kind of killed it because of how much stuff they just spammed out. It's like, why would I need to see any of this stuff? It's just excessive. Like, okay, you got Mandalorian season. I've, I've watched Mandalorian. I watched Mandalorian season two. You know, at the same time, I was I watched the Clone Wars and I was watching Rebels, so that was probably my fault. I was following the stuff, but then also I was. It seemed like they were also having like what like new shows coming out. Andor came out and I heard that was really good, but I was already tired of Star Wars when Andor came out. And then, so I wasn't very, you know, excited for it. But then Mandalorian Season 3, and then Ahsoka, and I, like, I don't care. And then, you know, I played through Fallen Order. And then we had the other, uh, the Jedi Survivor. We got one extra piece so far. Oh, Kenobi. I did watch Kenobi. I was excited for Kenobi. And I think Kenobi was really good. It was definitely different, though, than, you know, the other stuff. Of 
cool. Now we got the fingers. I guess that's supposed to be like the little thumb. I do need to watch uh, Ahsoka and all that. I need to just sit down and just watch it all. I should do like a huge like Star Wars marathon. It's like watch all of the movies. I wonder how long it would take to watch all of the Star Wars movies, including Rogue One, including Solo. And then also, um, The Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, Ahsoka, like all of the live action stuff. I wonder how long that would take to just watch all of it. I feel like that would be a good amount of time, though. Damn. But I got vacation, so... I mean, that's what I should do. Cool. Now we got the fingers. And these were pretty much going to move, so they... Look like they're actually, like, hugging the gun handle. Where is the other piece? There it is. go. Got to put this little lever piece in here.
supposed to be like a little scope. I do like how they have their like little gun build though. It does look pretty good. Okay. You can set the guns in the clips, but I'm not going to. 